This was yesterday. This is Mark Grody on the score taking a call. Let's go to Bob in Joliet. Hi, Bob. You're on the score. Hey, Mark, thanks for taking the call. You know, I understand the second team of the Bengals played the entire game. Um, Caleb Williams seemed to struggle um, in the time that he was in there. And Tyson Bajan seemed to be very productive, um, efficient, uh, precision passes. Okay, uh, I'm going to make a few, you know, like comments and statements, and then I'll ask Uh-oh. you a couple questions at the at the end. Um, I know, you know, no one talks about that. Okay, and I what? understand. About, hold on, Bob. Nobody talks about the, what. The, the efficiency of Ty- Tyson Bajan in well, the last we, I think, game. I think we t- spent a lot of time talking about. Oh, in this last game. Go ahead, Bob. I'm sorry, I'm being defensive. Yeah, Go ahead. In, in the in the last game. Okay, um, he does have uh, you know NFL experience with I don't know two or three games um, last um, week. Um, anyway, we're, we're, we tried to get away from Justin Fields in the splash plays. It seems like Caleb, Caleb Williams is good for the splash pay plays um but tyson bajan is more efficient so you know those are my you know statements um here's my questions Le- the last couple few years i've at you know las vegas has the bears eight and a half victories over or under i've asked you the last four years are you over and under you always picked over uh the vegas line and you were incorrect eight and a half eight and a half wins are you over or under bob you do like telling me when I'm wrong, don't you, Bob? Bob. Um, okay, where's the over under at again, Bob? Give it lay it on me. Was it you say it's eight or nine? Honestly, I don't pay much attention to stuff like that. But what what is it? At eight? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. All right, Bob, because I don't want to let you down, man. Over. Over. And okay, here's my second question. And you can comment on my statements prior. What game do you believe that Tyson Bajan will replace Caleb Williams for performance reasons, <laughs> not for injuries. Bob. What game do you what game do you predict? Thank you for taking the call. Okay, okay, Bob. I got a question for you, Dan. Is caller Bob the same guy that said pure bloodlines? Can we can find out, right? I don't know. I, I just like hearing him. It did. They sounded a little sim- similar. A little similar. The quality of the phone line is is different. Well, here let's let's do a, a real quick a forensic forensic, here. forensic okay. here. Okay, so this is the bloodline call. I had to get on the line. No, I had to no, pick up the no. phone about. Yeah, no, nope, no, not him. No, nope. I'm just glad that Mark Grody was a guest on the Bob Show last night. <laughs> I just thought it was great that the moment he you could hear Grody, uh, his, his first the sound reflex. that he made was okay. You can hear the you can hear the moment his heart breaks <laughs> yes, in half. He knew that he was he was in one of these. That this, he you could tell where it was going. No, it was for, he had a no one talks about it. Yeah, and like what do you mean no one? Talks? Nobody's talking about this. No can one. I just can I just real quick? And, and, and my response would have been to this, Bob. Bob Tyson Bajant can do a lot of things you need an NFL quarterback to do. Back. He cannot do the special things that you also need a modern NFL quarterback to do. Of either one of the quarterbacks that was mentioned. Come on, man. I know one thing. I know that I'm going to be listening tonight at 6 for Training Camp Live, there hosted by Mark Grody, to see if there's another Bob call. You should just take one every night. That's, uh, that, that's pretty special stuff there. If you, well, we have someone officially, even now, even now, pining. For the backup quarterback. Just like, it, it's a fear of greatness is what it is. And, it really is. And you have them pining for the backup quarterback when the third string quarterback in the first preseason game better. showed you a little bit more, maybe. Got a better arm. That's that's the problem. I hope that Tyson Bajant stays in the NFL for a long time and makes a whole bunch of money. Why? Because he seems like a nice enough kid. And he works hard, and his story should be a movie. Grinding his absolute face off. He, he is. He. I hope that he makes enough money to open up his gym when he's done. Or maybe more than that. I was too busy grinding my absolute face off. If he, I mean, look, Chase, Chase Daniel is the goal, but he's starting at a bad place to be Chase Daniel. 
because you know Chase was a you know, top pick. So like you're you're starting at a bad place. Mm-hmm. But if you can have a a career that is similar to a guy like that, great. <laughs> He's I think Tyson Bajan has all already as many starts as Chase Daniel did. <laughs> seven seven three Dexter. <laughs> That's the moment Bajan replaces Caleb Williams for the performance issues is the day that Bob realizes the divorce was his fault. Oh. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> and and if let's just put it this way, if we ever get to a point where that is the solution to the problem, all is lost. Oh no, no, then we're all leaving. All is lost. We're all leaving at that and point. we might as well, we could just we, we could just shut down the, the show. We could just go, hey, it was a good run. You've done 30 years, that, right? Almost, yeah. That's I, I've done 27. And that'll just be it. And we'll just go, all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is clearly not working out. We've You're- decided to make a move at quarterback. Uh, Caleb Williams being benched in favor of Tyson Bajan for performance issues. Good night, everybody. Flip, you, flip you the can, switch. You can just go fishing. I'll Ooh. go to Montreal, and that'll be it. Okay, done. Away I go. Yep. yep. I'll, I'll, I'll be in a small fishing village in an, under an assumed Greek name. So...